day to day. The subject matter of today is going to be um, destroying destiny killers. Hallelujah. Yesterday we started talking about destiny killers and we laid the foundation um, actually from a perspective of uh, who is your destiny helper. And we prayed and we petitioned the Lord to show us who our destiny helpers and that we activate these destiny helpers because sometimes they can be caught napping. Uh, I also gave the description of what a destiny is so that everybody gets the context and i encourage you to go back to my youtube channel and watch the video so that you get the context in case you missed out on um the tiktok version of it so those of you on tiktok i know that you don't get to see the replays so the replays are always put on my youtube that the the link is on my bio my handle are across all social medias is the same it is fortune l online okay so please i encourage you to follow the host wherever you are tuning in from and make sure you go to the youtube channels you will also get exclusive content there on things that we cover that we have not covered tando molo welcome from cape town molo herbert mastigo from johannesburg so yesterday as i said we started talking about destiny helpers so um i didn't know that the lord will lead me in in such a direction uh where we now need to explore different types of destiny killers because sometimes as individuals we sabotage ourselves and this morning as i was meditating the lord started showing me things around character our own personal character that we need to work on um so we need to look at um character as a destiny killer yesterday we touched a bit on the aspect of pride but this morning i'm coming from a different angle so i'm imploring you guys to participate today is our day of fasting by the way you can drink water uh, so make sure you are tapping, make sure you are commenting and let's participate and we will pray for your prayer needs and we will uh, make sure we stand in the gap with you as well. I've already started also um, dealing with the dream interpretation and I'll probably be able to just do one a day, but pray with me. I'm getting there. So coming back to the topic, destiny, what is your destiny? The destiny uh, is what God has created you to be. It is your divine purpose. It is your assignment on earth. It is what God has predetermined for your future. God has a purpose and a plan for you. And we want to make sure that that plan will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So that destiny, sometimes, unfortunately, it gets manipulated time and again. And we started praying for our destiny to come to pass to make sure that any time delay is dealt with. Amen. So that is what we were talking about yesterday. And we looked at um, activating our destiny helpers to ensure that the blueprint that God has set out for us, it is definitely going to come to pass. Amen. So this morning, we are going to look at a destiny killers because obviously if there is a helper there is somebody who is also working against the clock to make sure that they destroy our destiny what is a destiny killer destiny killers are satanic agents that are assigned to kill and thwart our destinies they are designed to derail us it's somebody or something that is uh, meant to derail you from the cause that god has got for you they want to discredit you they want to undermine you they want to to attack you they are there so that you never see the fulfillment of your destiny or you never walk in your potential somebody type in the comment section so that other people as they're coming in they know that today we're talking about destiny killers we are talking about how do we destroy destiny killers destiny killers so Many times when destiny killers, a destiny killer manifests itself in a spiritual form, um, it manifests in the spirit, for example, of jealousy. It could also be a spirit of manipulation. It also can come from a perspective of a, 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 a spiritual witchcraft. Okay, the spirit will often attempt to destroy you so that you your your work, whatever work you are doing, the work you're doing for the Lord will have no effect. Are we tracking together? Destroying destiny killers. Amen. The scripture for today, our anchor scripture is Genesis chapter 28 verse 15 it says behold i am with thee and i will keep thee in all places where you go and i will bring thee again into this land for i will not leave thee and i have done until i have done that which i have spoken thee of i am personally excited that god would give us such an assurance to say i am with you i will make sure that you will go wherever you will go i will be with you i will make sure that there is no destiny killer that is going to kill you 
your destiny. I will make sure that I will bring you to the promises and to the land and make sure that it comes to pass whatever I've set aside for you to do. Until I have done that which I have spoken of, it will come to pass. For as long as the Lord will keep you and make sure that you are on this earth, you will definitely fulfill your destiny. It might be slow down. And so what we are looking to do in this month of May, as we are saying, God, these are the 31 days of grace and favor. We are going to issue out protocol breaking prayers that will make sure that the destiny killers timeline is thwarted, that will make sure that we are destroying destiny killers. Hallelujah. So destiny killers, what are they? They are those kind of things that will block your dreams. You've got dreams for your life. You want to succeed in life, but the destiny killer is fighting you. He doesn't want you to succeed. He doesn't want your family to succeed. And sometimes these destiny killers even come from our own family members. Look at what happened with Joseph. Even their own family members, they were laughing at him when he was interpreting dreams. They were laughing at him. They rebuked him. They thought that they were going to end his destiny and look at how God promoted them. So sometimes even the people we love, even people who are very close to us can be destiny killers. Talk to me, somebody. Who are destiny killers? Those are the type of people that delay our destiny manifestation. And sometimes it comes through the wrongful associations that we hook up with the wrong people, the people that slow us down and we just wonder, oh, my God, why am I in such, you know, some people are in a relationship, you are abused in that relationship, but you are still staying there. Many years go by and you feel like you cannot move. You are dependent on this person. Those are destiny killers, but those destiny killers must come down. Amen. Somebody, I want you to confess it in the comment section and says, all my destiny killers will be destroyed this morning. God, oh my God, my God, destroy the destiny killers in my life. Amen. Somebody. Who are these destiny killers? They want to see your negative side. They are very happy when they see things that are negative. There are some people who are so cunning, ladies and gentlemen. They look like they are very friendly towards us. They look like they are comforting us. Meanwhile, they are laughing at us. They are listening to your story when you keep on saying that my husband is treating me in such a, a particular way. Oh, oh my, I'm being ill-treated. And they look like they are crying with you. But the devil is a liar. They're not crying with you because they are laughing at you. Because they didn't know that you are Going to have such a beautiful future. They don't want you to have a beautiful marriage. So God this morning rose me up to tell you that I am destroying every single destiny killer that is trying to bring you down. Every destiny killer that is trying to bring your marital settlement down. Any friend that is a destiny killer, God will deal with them. They must be uprooted. They must leave your life completely in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who are the destiny killers, Pastor Fortune? The destiny killers are the kind of people that want to discourage us and tell us that our, our 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 dreams are too big. They tell you that thing, that project you want to undertake is too big. You are too small. If you are saying that the dreams that I have are too big, are you saying that I'm too small, that God cannot use me? The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Dest destiny killers must come down. All my destiny killers will be destroyed today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your destiny killers have dreams of calamity for you. They don't wish you good things. They are always talking about you. Araba shokorobo siyanda. They are the ones who are discouraging you. They are the ones who are limiting you. They want to mock you. They mock you behind your back. They mock you. Even some people will tell you just front line like this. Hallelujah. The destiny killers always are the type of people that want to weaken your faith, that tell you you are doing too much. You are, you are praying too much. You are going to God. You are doing too much. So destiny killers, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know they are all around us. They are everywhere. They are in our homes. They are in our churches. They are in our workplaces. But you know what? Yeah. <laughs> If you are on to them, if God will open your spiritual eyes to identify them, then you know how to deal with them. Talk to me, hallelujah. Ecclesiastes just, just chapter 10, he says, there is an evil of which I have seen under the sun is an error which proceeded from the ruler. Folly is set in great dignity and the rich sit in low places. I have seen servants upon houses and princes walking upon servants upon the earth. Hallelujah. My declaration for you this morning is that you will definitely walk like a prince and you will rule your world like a queen and a king you will not be seen on horses hallelujah you will not or you will you will be seen on horses rather but not walking as a servant on the earth you will not be like a prodigal son who has been cast out who he has cast out himself rather hallelujah somebody somebody say in the comment section all destiny killers must come down this morning all my destiny killers be destroyed in the name of jesus christ so as we kick off father i thank you lord that through this word that is going for this morning through the prayers that we are going to make this morning lord you're going to open 
overturned. Every single bad thing that the, the, the destiny killers has set out for us in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you, Lord, that anything that the enemy meant for our harm and, of, and for evil and to destroy us, Lord, you are overturning it. You are turning it around. Thank you, Lord, for using me as a vessel to deliver that word that will be a word of encouragement to somebody who's listening to the sound of my voice. Lord, as I declare and I make this decrease, Lord, as we pray along together and we stand in agreement to bring down every single form of destiny killer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we stand again in agreement together, Lord, that we are destroying every single destiny killer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 2, it says that Herod was seeking to destroy the destiny of Jesus so that we might not have known. If Jesus had been had been killed, we might not have known salvation. We might not have known who we are. We might have known, known that we can be rulers, that we are kings and princes. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, we saw yesterday in the book of Nehemiah how Sanballat and, and Tobias said that the destiny of Nehemiah was too big and that they tried to discourage him. But at the end, Nehemiah was still able to rebuild the wall. Hallelujah. I have prophesied yesterday and I declare it and I still stand with it that any project that you start will succeed in the na name of Jesus. Any project, any building project, anything that you are building, whether it is a business, your children will go to school. Whatever you have set out to do, it will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We saw in the book of Esther, if you are a Bible reader and you are a Bible student like me, in the the book of Esther, the Bible talks of the man called Haman, who was a destiny killer who wanted to wipe out the whole of the Jews because they had offended him but he, and he just hated them. But the Lord stood up for Esther and said, no ways that the Jews will succeed. And there was a woman called Esther who rose and took her position. I don't know which position you have been hesitating to take on. I don't care if you feel that you have been inadequate or unqualified. I am saying that the Lord is raising Queen Esther here amongst us who are listening to the sound of my voice this morning and I declare and I decree you will take up your rightful position. You will be in that rulership position. You will be that manager in that department. You will take charge and you will go forth. You will lead others. You will represent us in the political circles. You will represent us in the business associations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you and we declare and we decree that we are receiving a double portion of the anointing that was on uh, uh, Elijah that he was bequeathed to Elisha in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and by that anointing, Lord, we thank Thank you, Lord, that you are moving us from the level where we are in and you are taking us to new heights in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We saw yesterday as well in the book of Mark chapter 2 that we saw friends that stood with their friend who was ill, who made sure that their friend gets the help they need. And they, when he needed healing, they made sure they devised every single plan under the sun to make sure that they avoid the crowd. And sometimes people will not want to let you in. Some, sometimes people are connected, but they don't want to open the doors for you. Who is this destiny killer? who knows somebody who knows somebody who knows that they can talk to somebody and they introduce you but they don't want to introduce you to that person because they don't want you to get the breakthrough that you need I hear the spirit of the Lord says that even if that person does not introduce you to that person the Lord will open another door the Lord will bring another person who will introduce you the Lord will bring another person who will put you on that table and you will dine with kings and your project you will be able to make your business pitch and somebody is going to be listening a person that you did not think of that would be listening. I don't care if you are a destiny killer and you want to slow down my progress. Ah, ah, ah. God is raising up somebody else who's going to raise you. Somebody who's going to do your pitch. Somebody who's make sure that your proposal will reach the right table. Talk to me, somebody. Somebody type in that comment section. All my destiny killers be destroyed now in the name of Jesus. God abashundariabasande. Mm. The Lord says that the sin in your life can also be a destiny killer. Hallelujah. Sin, we looked at yesterday and I touched on it briefly. I said we need to look at the aspect of sin. Hallelujah. I know that a lot of people know that the Lord forgives and it is true the Lord forgives us and the Lord forgives us but some people keep on sinning and the Lord says I must tell you fortune my grace is sufficient but shall we continue sinning so that grace may abound? <laughs> The Lord says, I need true repentance from my people. He says, I need them to know that pride is a destiny killer. They should not be proud people. I need them to know that arrogance is a destiny killer. Oh, somebody say in the comment section, I will not be arrogant. I will not have pride. Sin shall not rule my life. I don't know whether you are typing it or you are saying it by your mouth, but from wherever you are listening to the sound of my voice, Father God, we come against sin. We come against pride. We come against arrogance. 
hands. Lord, we lift us ourselves up, oh Lord. We are here at the throne of grace, oh God, to ask for mercy wherever we have been proud, wherever our sin has overtaken us. Father, give us the strength, oh God, to repent and stay repented in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord, that our arrogance shall not sabotage us against the doors of opportunity that you are opening for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Talk to me, somebody. The Lord says that you will be uplifted for as long as you will take the counsel. My counsel is the one that you move with. If you don't have somebody who will give you good counsel and good wisdom, he says, my word is sufficient. I have sent to you in the beginning and it is still now. In the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was with, was with, with God and nothing was made that was made. And therefore, all you need is my word. I am speaking this morning. I am saying to somebody, hold on to the word of God. As long as you hold on to the word of God, you hold on to that logos. You hold on to that rhema. You activate it every single morning and say, Lord, let your word speak to me. Let your word speak for me. Let your word go forth and let your word touch somebody's heart. Soften the hearts of my bosses, those that have been seeking to take me out. Lord, soften the hearts of the judges that are sitting with my case. Let your word go forth in the courts of heaven to, to answer for me when the accuser of the brethren speaks. Talk to me, somebody. Somebody tell, tell, tell your neighbor, my destiny killers are going down. Destiny killers are going down this morning. Whatever factor that has been operating inside of you, outside of you, uh, your friends, wherever it's coming from, Lord, we will not sabotage ourselves. Whatever it is inside of me that you do not want, God, uprooted now in the name of Jesus. Whatever is blocking my destiny in the name of Jesus Christ, that destiny killer that is inside of me, if it is my character, if it is my attitude, if it is just whatever is thinking, Lord, that you have not ordained to be inside of me, let it come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I come against the spirit of illness, any disease, any infirmity that is inside of you that has been slowing you down. Somebody, every time you need to get to an interview, there is always something that is happening. Your car breaks down. You start getting sick. Oh, I don't know where I am right now. Mm. My destiny helpers are going down. I'm just saying it like I'm hearing it. In the name of Jesus, the Lord says, you shall not fear, for I am with you. I'm here with you to strengthen you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord says, I'm extending my right hand. My right hand of righteousness is here, taking over. Behold, all that have incense against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. Does somebody hear what the Spirit of God says? He says, everybody that has been standing against you. Everybody that has been standing against you. Everybody that has been standing against you. Everybody that has been closing the door that you have been trying to open. They shall be confounded and they shall be ashamed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will be left standing. Not only will you be left standing, the door shall open. And the more they force the door to close, I have opened an opening on the wall. There is a portal on the wall that has been opened. The Lord says that if in the physical they are refusing you entry, this morning I want you to transcend and to elevate. I want you to levitate and go over in the mighty name of Jesus. The spirit realm is taking you over. Every single mountain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord says I must declare and I decree that the clouds that are hanging over every single mountain that keeps on rising because you think that you have gone through this mountain. There's another mountain that comes up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord says the clouds are coming down. Blessings are coming down. It will rain. It will rain heavily in the mighty name of Jesus. Are we checking together? Are you typing that amen? Well, shakorabo sundariya Masunda. There is nothing, there will be nothing that will stand against you. Anything that rises against you shall perish in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those are seeking your destruction, they shall fall in the mighty name of Jesus. Those that contend with you, they shall be contended with. The Lord says, I've got an army that is enough. I've got angelic powers that are ready to contend with your contenders in the name of Jesus. Somebody who's ready in the comment section, type enough is enough. Lord, release my contenders. Contend with my contenders. Every contending army that is trying to rise against you, the Lord says, I will contend against them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, those that war against thee shall be nothing. I will reduce them to be nothing. In the name of Jesus, everybody that is contending with you, the Lord says, I'm bringing it down. They will be nothing in the name of Jesus Christ. He says, I'm the helper to the helpless. I am here to help you. I am here to destroy your destiny killers. He says, I'm here to position you. 
I am here to make sure that I will position you. Anybody who has been trying to dethrone you, they shall be left out. In the name of Jesus, somebody bring me a chair. I am the lifter of your head. Your head is about to be lifted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord says, I will promote you where the others had thought that they were going to bypass you. They thought they were going to bring their relatives to bypass you. It shall not happen in the mighty name of Jesus. I am the promoter. I am the one that created that company. I am the one that created that position. That position is yours in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord says you shall not need a connection from your family for this one because you have been waiting too long. That uncle that you have been trusting on too long, that uncle might very well be the destiny killer that is holding on to your miracle. Your breakthrough is certain. My destiny killers are coming down. Somebody type it in the comment section. Every single destiny killer is coming down in the name of Jesus. If you are in trouble, the Lord says, I must tell you this morning, I'm the helper of those that are in trouble in the name of Jesus. I'm the one that promotes destinies. If I formed you before you knew yourself in your mother's womb, I have set out your destiny and what it shall be. And therefore that destiny shall come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Talk to me, somebody. If you have found yourself amongst friends that have betrayed you, the friends that have stabbed you in the back, I am the one who rules heaven and earth. I am your helper. I am uprooting. I am destroying. I am dismantling. I am removing you from friendships that you should not be having. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anytime you feel that the help of God is far from you, he says, I am not far from you. I am right here. I am your friend. In the name of Jesus, every single destiny killer, it is coming down. They are coming down. Every destiny killer, they are coming down in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord says, what is that thing that is a destiny killer? The destiny killers are those people who make a vow and they don't keep it. I am God. I am God that honors covenants. I am a God that honors vows. Therefore, if you are to make a vow for me, Make sure you keep it in the name of Jesus. Let me digress here and have a word of correction. Whenever child of God, you make a vow for God, make sure that you keep it. We saw how Hannah made a vow for God and he, she kept it. So anytime, do not vow what you cannot honor. Do not vow what you cannot keep because that thing can turn around and be a destiny killer for you. In the name of Jesus, I hope you are, I'm communicating and you are learning from this. Hallelujah. He says, my child, my child stop living in secret sin that secret sin someday it will come out it is the one that is speaking against you it is time that you stop putting one 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 foot in the world and one foot in god that secret sin is the thing that has been killing your destiny that means that you are the only one that can sabotage your destiny by the secret sin Oh, somebody tell somebody, tell your, tell your neighbor that I'm moving to new heights. I'm moving to new heights. I will not let sin affect me. I will not let sin affect me from changing levels in the name of Jesus Christ. Destiny killers, those who are the accusers of the brethren, today you are coming down. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will reach your destination in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody shout a believing amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for these ones that have tuned in this morning. I want you to speak to in tongues wherever you are. Let's get into prayer mode. I see my time is fast. Man. I want you to repent of your sins right now. I want you to repent of the sins of your ancestors right now. I want you to say, listen to this prayer point very carefully. I want you to say, my father, my father, my father, my Father, I repent of my sins. I repent of the sins of my ancestors. I renounce all evil covenants made by me and made by my ancestors. I come out in agreement with you this morning. All disobedience that has blocked my blessings in my life today, they are broken in the name of Jesus. Father God, I ask that you serve I ask that you overrule. I ask that you veto 
Every legal right, every legislation, every verdict, every embargo, every ordinance of the enemy that has hindered me, that has prevented me in the name of Jesus from walking in the fullness of what you have ordained to me or ordained for me and my destiny. Right now, they come to pass. In the name of Jesus, let's begin to pray wherever you are. Begin to declare in the spirit realm. Shonda di Amasonda. We are dismantling every embargo, every legal legislation, whatever the verdict, even if it was supposed to hold. Father Lord, we bring it down in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever I have made covenants with ancestors that were contrary to your word, everywhere I have con covenanted with the wrong people in my life, uh, anywhere where I've exchanged my destiny, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we reverse it now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We repent, oh God. We repent, oh God. La cosondo di amasonda Father, grant us full pardon in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask you that you grant us full pardon from every single penalty, every single reproach in the name of Jesus, every consequent of sin in the name of Jesus Christ. By virtue of what you did on Calvary, O Lord, the sacrifice that you did on Calvary, Calvary, O Lord, let it speak against any penalty. Let it speak against any judgment that is against us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we stand on Romans chapter 8, verses 28 to 35. Lord, we ask you to cleanse us from all sins of unrighteousness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you have redeemed us from the every curse of the law. We thank you, Lord, that you have redeemed us from every generational curse. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that we are free from every collective captivity in our family line in the mighty name of Jesus. Make sure you are typing that amen well. Father God, please remove those things from our life that would hinder our fruitfulness. We declare, we decree that we are fruitful. In this day, we are fruitful. We are fruitful as we go into the month of March deeper. And we are fruitful as we progress in our year of 2023. In the name of Jesus, Father God, approve those things in our life that you do not like, the things that you hate. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father God, we declare, we decree that you will help Help us to discover the, and recover the hidden treasures that you have intended and set aside for us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, walk us back, Lord, to the foundations of our life that you intended us to be, Father God. Anything that is in us that you do not put the Lord, uproot it in the name of Jesus Christ. We are walking back to our foundational healing. Lord, we declare and we decree that we walk in divine health. Our family members are walking in divine health in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we walk back, oh God to the foundations where you delivered us and redeemed us, oh God. We ask for forgiveness, Holy Spirit, from anywhere we have, we have played around with evil and darkness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Restore us, oh God, to your original design in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty power of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Let your purpose be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Let your purpose be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask you, Lord, that let your kingdom come. Let your will be done in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask that you commission all angels, oh God, that are assigned to us in the name of Jesus. Go before us. Let those angels go before us. And Lord God, let those angels that will destroy every destiny killer go forth to destroy every single conspiracy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, release every angel that will destroy every single obstacle, every single barrier. In the name of Jesus, I wish you could type that amen well. I wish that amen would thunder even more. In the name of Jesus, Father, we come against any sabotage in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, we ask, Lord, like that your angels that destroy destiny kill us. Go forth, O oh God, to deal with every resistance that is resisting us to take hold of our hidden treasures in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, that you are bringing us to the fullness of your plan for our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I wish you could type a believing amen. Rabbi Shokwariya.
In Jesus' mighty name, we decree it and we declare it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, are we praying together? Are we praying together? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you. We thank you. Just begin to thank him where you are. Speak, O Lord. By the precious blood of Jesus Christ. All that we have decreed and we declared. We declare that it comes to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, thank you, Holy Spirit, for teaching us and showing us and opening our spiritual eyes and ears, oh God, that we may be able to discern who are the destiny killers that we are dealing with, oh God. Lord, fix that character that is defective in us, oh God, that is preventing us from flowing in what you have proposed for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we thank you, Lord. We declare this morning that there is no enemy that will kill our destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Every assignment of the enemy is being turned around to glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you type that amen, you are agreeing with me. As you type that amen, so shall it come to pass in your life. Uh, Father, thank you. We declare, oh God, that you will frustrate the efforts of the enemy. You will uh, frustrate every effort wherever they were digging a pit for us, Lord, for our destruction. They will fall into that pit themselves in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare and we decree total annihilation of every evil thing that seeks to hurt us, every single thing that seeks to immobilize you and not move forward. Father, we come against it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare and we decree that every form of um, a, a agent of uh, from satan oh god that has been fashioned against us to make us perish lord it shall come to naught it catches fire right now in the name of jesus christ do i have believers in the crowd today i need to see those amens i need you to see that you are desperate for this move you are desperate for the grace to speak father we reverse it back every form of destiny attack in the name of jesus us. We send that spirit of property. We command it to live our lives. Let it go back from wherever it came from in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we come against the spirit of lack, the spirit of poverty. We come against the spirit of failure in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let it go back to the bottomless pit in the mighty name of Jesus. Every assignment against our prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every assignment against your prosperity, I declare and I decree it is cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We tear apart every satanic garment, every satanic wretchedness in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we boldly declare that every evil of disgrace, shame, and reproach, and dishonor in our lives, it is destroyed in the mighty and precious blood of Jesus. And let me say that again so that somebody can take root of this thing in the mighty name of Jesus. I said every form of evil disgrace, every form of evil dishonor, every form of evil shame, every form of whatever it is that was meant to bring you down. It is going down today in the name of Jesus by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. You shall not be ashamed. You shall not be disgraced. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will not be dishonored. Your name will be a name of honor. You will be honored wherever you go. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, any ungodly superior move, let it be thwarted in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be marginalized. You will not be forgotten. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I come against any spirit of limitation. I come against the spirit of being marginalized. I come against the spirit of being victimized. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak to that woman that woman, that man that is in an abusive relationship, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I declare and I decree that you are strengthening them. You are giving them wisdom, oh God. You are giving them the strategies, oh God, on how to deal with that situation, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray against the spirit of gender-based violence, oh God, in every one of its form, whether it is in physical form, whether it is in emotional form, whether it is in verbal form. Father God, I speak to the mental health of every single person that is a victim of a gender-based violence right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, give them the strength and the, 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 that they will remember where they are coming from, oh God. They will remember that they are yours. They belong to God. You desire wonderful things for them, oh God. Give them the peace and the strength and the empowerment, oh God, to get out of that abusive situation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh my God. Father, we thank you, Lord. We reject every single dream of 
of, of evil. We reject every image that is evil. In the name of Jesus Christ, every single dream of poverty, we come against you, catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, every dream of poverty, we come against you in the name of Jesus. Every form of wretchedness, we come against you in the name of Jesus. Every form of retardation, we come against you in the name of Jesus. Every form of backward movement, we come against you in the name of Jesus. Every form of setback, we come against for you in the name of Jesus. Every form of delay, we come against you in the name of Jesus. Every form of frustration, we come against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every form of hindrance, we come against you in the name of Jesus. Oh, shake it, Yama God bless you, Tina. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we come against the spirit of death in the mighty name of Jesus. Every form of negative image that the enemy is attempting to project concerning our lives. Every form of image that the enemy is trying to project in our families, our businesses, in our ministries, in the name of Jesus. We come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the enemy will not convert our positive destiny to rags. Father, we declare and we decree that our destiny shall not be converted to coverings and grave clothes. We will not go down in the grave. Father God, we stand on the resurrection power of the Holy Spirit. That God, you resurrected Jesus from Christ. We have been resurrected against every form of curse, every soul, every form of backwardness, every form of backwardness, every form of delay. Father God, we are charging forward. We are standing on the resurrected power of Jesus. Father, we are thanking you, Lord, that every single dream, every single business is being resurrected in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we call customers from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Father, we call our wealth from the north, the south, the east, and the west. We declare and we decree, Lord, that we will not be in poverty in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Where they say there is a casting down, we shall say there shall be a lifting up. Thank you, Lord, that the gates have been lifted this morning. We are charging forward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We will not be ashamed, oh God. Believers will be seen that, that we have the authority of God. Nothing will harm us by any means, Father God, because that we know that those that are with us are more than those that are against us. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you have been sent to stand with us to be our advocate and our teacher and our guide in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, Thank you, Lord, for the comfort that you are giving to that person that is struggling under mental health right now. You will not have any mental health issues. I declare and I decree that the peace and the shalom of God rest upon you mightily in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, release, release, receive the shalom of God. Receive the shalom of God. Rafa, Rafa, I call you. Father, visit every single believer that is standing on your word. Father, we have no one else to rely on. We need your help, oh God. This disease should not be in our bodies. Father, we speak to fibroids. Father, we speak to lupus. We speak to spinal cord defects. We speak to headaches. We speak to high blood pressure. Father, children will not be robbed. Children will not become orphans by virtue of any single disease, any single form of illness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we declare healing, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we declare declare by your stripes we have been healed, oh God. We don't have to go through the same experiences, Father God. We thank you, Lord, that any destiny killer that is trying to block our progress and our testimony so that we can testify of the goodness of the Lord. Father God, they are coming down in this morning. In the name of Jesus, Father, we will not sit in the counsel of the ungodly. Father, send us friends who are relevant, who will help us to move to new heights. Friends who will move us forward. In the mighty name of Jesus, Sakaraba Sonda Father, we declare and decree that you are enlarging our territory. I speak to that person, oh God, that is listening to the sound of my voice, oh God, that has been thinking about going on a franchising spree, oh God. Let, let their business expand, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, I thank you, Lord, that even those that are going to meet for partnership deals, oh God, they will not be yoked with people that are crooks, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, every single business deal that they will sit on, my God, in that table, oh God, Oh God, make their eyes spiritually sharp, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, to read even the fine print, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, they will not be yoked with unequal people, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every single deal shall be for their favor and for your glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to that person, oh God, that is desperate, sitting in their house, oh God, thinking of the next scheme to get rich, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, let them receive the wisdom, not to 
to be unyoked with people that are going to scam them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I thank you. I speak to that person, oh God, that is about to make a destiny decision on the spouse that they are about to choose to get married to in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit, that they will choose correctly. They will not choose somebody who is going to hold them back in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, I hear the Spirit taking me and saying I should pray against those uh, those who are victims of altars that have been created by evil parents who have who have taken your blood and who have exchanged your blood at evil altars wanting you to hold you back in the name of Jesus. Father, I destroy every single altar of evil. Let it catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No spell shall succeed against those children. Those children are released in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, Lord, I speak progress into their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Regardless of that evil parent, regardless of that evil auntie, regardless of whoever it is in their family bloodline that wants to see them go down in the mighty name of Jesus, those destiny killers are coming down in the mighty name of Jesus. It catches fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody declare, Lord, enlarge my coast, enlarge my coast, enlarge my coast. Some of you have been dreaming too small. The Lord says it is time your coast is being enlarged in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree you will not operate below your divine destiny in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every form of witchcraft power, every form of evil covenant contending with your divine destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. It shall be annihilated in the mighty name of Jesus. It shall be annihilated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every form of evil power dealing with your divine destiny. Let it come down in the mighty name of Jesus. You have been saying to the Lord, I want to serve you. You are a worshiper. You want to serve God. But the, the enemy has been trying to frustrate you at the ground level. The enemy has been frustrating you. Whoever you're at, the enemy has been frustrating. You have been engaged for too long and you want to get married, but things are stuck in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak that your lobola shall be completed. Your dowry shall be completed. You will rejoice in the name of Jesus. By the end of this year you will celebrate in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whoever is holding back your destiny, I see a lady right now. You are being held back. The spiritual manipulation is not coming from your fiance's side, but the spiritual manipulation, the spirit says it's coming from your end in the name of Jesus. But the Lord says that that spirit is not strong enough to fight what I put in you. Rise up and serve me in the mighty name of Jesus. You will see the wonders that I've set aside for you. Let every monitoring device, any monitoring spirit that has been observing your destiny be shattered now to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who is that monitoring spirit. I don't know what is that monitoring device. As I I point to this direction, in the mighty name of Jesus, there is somebody who has been victimized by monitoring spirits. Right now, we come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be hindered in the mighty name of Jesus. That monitoring spirit, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, by your thunder, Father, by your temper, Father, by your whirlwind, O God, arise, O God, scatter every occultic practice, scatter every occultic conspiracy that has been targeted against my life. Somebody declare it with me. My God, my God, my Father, my Father, scatter every occultic targeted, targeted against my life. Every occultic thundering, whatever they have sent, whether it is a missile or whatever, let it backfire in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, scatter them, scatter them. Whoever is that destiny killer that has sought to scatter you, they shall be scattered in the name of Jesus. In that whirlwind, in that whirlstorm that they are thinking they are bringing against you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let the thunder of the Lord strike them. Let the thunder of the Lord strike them. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Father God, I rise to declare that and decree, Lord, that every material that has been used to represent me and my destiny in the occultic world, right now it scatters in the name of Jesus. Every single thing that they use, whether it is your clothing, whether it is your picture, whether it is your menstruation blood, 
in the name of Jesus. I come against it right now. It scatters. It catches fire. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is arising. Mm-hmm. My God, my God, arise, arise, arise. Let every coven power that is working against my breakthrough be annihilated in the name of Jesus. I don't know where is that coven. I don't know where is that coven power arising from. Right now, it scatters in the mighty name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of Yeshua, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Yeshua. Let the blood of Yeshua speak in the name of Jesus. The blood of Yeshua speaks against every arrow of darkness that has been fired against you. Let it go back to sender in the mighty name of Jesus. Karaba Sonda be destroyed. Every arrow of backwardness, every arrow of delay in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you, Lord. Right now we rise and declare that you break all protocols, my God. Wipe away every record of my name in any demonic realm in the blood of Yeshua Hamashiach. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, everywhere they have mentioned my name, in every demonic coven, right now, Lord, wipe my name from that record in the name of Jesus Christ. Whether I took myself there, I break every covenant in the name of Jesus. Every single yoke of the oppressor over my destiny, be broken by fire. Be broken by fire. I declare it and I decree it for you as well. I say every single, every single oppressor of your destiny, be broken broken by fire. In the name of Jesus, every single tombstone that has been designed against your destiny, it is being shattered now in the name of Jesus. Every single grave that they have struck for you, it is being scattered right now. In the name of Jesus, let the hammer of God deal with everybody that has been digging that pit. Right now, my destiny killers are going down. They are going down. You are being shattered in the name of Jesus. Anybody that is speaking against you, Anybody that is gossiping about you, in the mighty name of Jesus, we speak to that mouth. It will catch fire. Let the coal of the Holy Spirit begin to bend them now. Begin to bend them now. Every spiritual strong man. Every spiritual. The Lord says every spiritual strong man from your father's house or from your mother's house whatever demonic monitoring spirit against you in the mighty name of Jesus that has been resisting your breakthrough in the name of Jesus be destroyed now double fire in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every power consulting the sun consulting the moon consulting the stars against you in the name of Jesus it is being destroyed now in the mighty name of Jesus are you praying with me I need you to type that in Amen. Well, I need you to type that amen. Well, Karabashon do 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 In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, I just want to check my time. I'm left with six minutes. Oh, Holy Spirit, speak, Father God. Speak, Father God. Speak, Father God. Your destiny killers are coming down. They are coming down in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Every single power that has been assigned to kill you, I see those that that were supposed to get into accident. Father, I rise to declare right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, anybody that was assigned to die, that was assigned to be buried by virtue of a car accident right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Christ, any power that was assigned to kill your career, any power that was assigned to kill the works of your hands in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, any power that has been assigned to frustrate the works of progress against your children, against your marriage, against your relationship, against your dreams, against your divine helpers. I come against that power right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power that has been assigned to work against your ministry, against your destiny in the name of Jesus. Let that power be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Yeshua. In the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. Right now it is being destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. I command every unfriendly friend to depart from your life right now. Any unfriendly friend that you have is departing from your life right now in the name of Jesus. Any unfriendly and that person who is not meant to be your husband or your 
wife. Right now, I command them to depart right now. They are uprooted from your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you, Even if they had paid your dowry and your lobola, I command that union to scatter for as long as it is not in the will of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, remove their names from the book of troubles in the mighty name of Jesus. Every satanic strongman in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that has been manipulating your destiny, they begin to roast to ashes right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, every single spirit that is antagonizing my divine helpers, be consumed to ashes right now in the name of Jesus. By the fire of God, they are being consumed to ashes right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody that is hindering your destiny helper from coming forth, right now, catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Christ. Every power that has been circulating your name for evil, let it be silenced in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every power that has been turning your divine helpers against you, let it be destroyed in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. In the name of Jesus Christ, every power that has been driving away every one of your God sent helpers, right now be annihilated in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father, make all my proposals find favor. Wherever I've lodged them, wherever I've sent them, they will find favor in the sight of the Lord. They will find favor in the sight of those who need to approve them. In the name of Jesus Christ, let my divine helpers begin to, to peruse my proposal. Let my divine helpers begin to lose sleep as they seek to, to promote me and move me forward. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we declare we decree that every form of witchcraft working against my destiny and my divine helpers be obliterated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I said every single power of working against your destiny, it shall be obliterated in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we come against every single form of incantation every single form of ritual against our destiny. It shall be disgraced. I said it shall be disgraced. It shall be disgraced. I wish you could type that amen well. I wish you could make that amen thunder very well. I said every single power that has been making incantations, making rituals against you, right now in the mighty name of Jesus, they shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus Christ. Every single power of darkness that has been assigned against your de de destiny, it shall be annihilated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every power that has been trying to reprogram your life for failure, it shall be annihilated in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, take my hand and lead me away from the mistakes that would hinder my progress. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will not miss your way. You will not miss your step. Your destiny shall come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be seduced by any spirit that will entice you away from your divine destiny and from serving God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I declare and I decree, I command all powers of darkness that have been assigned against these ones who are listening to the sound of my voice, that they will be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. They will not be demoted, but they will be promoted in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, give them supersonic, bionic discernment, oh God, against every satanic opportunity that is shooting in their direction in the name of Jesus. Whoever is an enemy of progress, whoever is that destiny killer that has been masquerading against your divine destiny, may the Lord give you supersonic vision that you will be able to see them and tell them straight, stop it. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. The law, the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, we break every single case of backwardness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we break every single form of retardation, oh God. In the name of Jesus, it is arrested. In the name of Jesus Christ, our development is certain and it is sure. And it will go to pass. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for helping us to redeem the time. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you have brought to us your kairos, my God. Your kairos timing has been brought to us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us into the fullness of the destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are coming into the fullness of our destiny in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord has purpose for us in the name of Yeshua. Father, we release ourselves from any ungodly parental link linkage in the name of Jesus Christ. Every bondage from your mother's and your father's house. Right now, we release ourselves, oh God, forever, every evil, uh, satanic bondage. We are being released in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, manifest yourself in our life. Oh, wonderful counselor. Oh, mighty God, Prince of Peace, manifest yourself in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, manifest 
yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ, we release ourselves from any form of premature death. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we release ourselves, oh God, from any form of satanic raiders in the name of Jesus Christ. Every stronghold, every strong man, oh God, of failure from our houses, oh Lord, we release ourselves in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare they annihilated in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that has been planted in our life by the evil one, oh God, we are coming out. Come out with all your roots, whatever has been planted in your house, whatever they planted at your gate, that thing is being uprooted by the Holy Ghost right now. It catches fire in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, Shakandi Abasanda. Can somebody say, I will, I will testify. It is my time to testify. Oh, Masunda. It is my time to testify. My time is fast spent. Receive explosive breakthroughs in this week. Receive explosive breakthroughs this today. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Every power of bewitchment has been has been has been dealt with this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will not be disgraced. Somebody type, it is my time to testify. I am signing out as I'm asking you, it is my time to testify. I trust that you have been blessed. I trust that you have been lifted. I trust that you have felt the Holy Ghost coming into your house, coming into your spirit, man. Thank you so much for the testimonies I have heard. Every time you guys inbox me, you type in that comment section and you tell me what the Lord is doing for you with these protocol breaking prayers. I am excited because I have heard and I have seen how the Lord is doing wondrous things. Some people just come into the broadcast being sick by the time the broadcast is finished and they testify how they are blessed and how they are strong and they're healed. Thank you for the uh, medical testimonies. Mary Jane, God bless you and increase you for your gifting. Thank you to all the gifters in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May God increase you and add to your pockets and even give you more in the name of jesus christ it is my time to testify Oh, Mara official, it is your time to testify. Guys, testify. We overcome by the words of our testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. YouTube and Facebook, you guys are amazing. Holy Spirit. Let me just see who is here. Let me say my goodbyes to, to Facebook. Araba Shokunde. Sometimes it is difficult to look at all these four screens. Vimbai, I declare and I decree that it is your time to testify. Tobias Alan Mpane, you, it is your time to testify in the name of Jesus Christ. May God uplift you. Your destiny killers have been destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to you, Noasha Constance. Deborah Davis, you are lifted and blessed. Kofi Brown, you are lifted and blessed. Deborah Davis, Vimbai, it is your time to testify. Hey, Ebenezer, Karaba, Shoto Kodi Amasanda, Ikalabra Sonda. Hey, Kofi Brown, I might see you in Ghana very soon, in a month or two. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak to everybody. I'm not seeing all the names because they, all of them have scrolled up. Those of you on YouTube, God bless you, God bless you. Remember, guys, Guys, if you miss the start of the broadcast, you go to YouTube, Fortune L Online, or you go to Mara Official. It will be uploaded in the next few minutes right now. You can go back and pray and pray and pray. It is your time to testify. Guys, I believe that you have been blessed. May God increase you and lift you up. And remember, today we are fasting. Don't forget. And you can break at six. You can drink water today. We are not doing a dry fast in Jesus' mighty name. Keep on declaring. You are lifted. Your destiny killers have been dealt with in Jesus' mighty name name. You will not be poor. You will be rich in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord already exchanged his, the poverty for your riches in Jesus' mighty name. Go and take your rightful position as children of God. Amen and amen and amen. Bye-bye YouTube. Bye-bye Facebook. Let me just uh, log off here. Yeah.